Hi and welcome to another Honest video. Now usually on this channel I'm talking to you about uh, products that I've reviewed, whether they're beauty products or household products. I look at a lot of um, anti-aging creams and treatments and serums and all the various things that you can do these days to counter the effects of aging. But the reality is, as I've learned um, from my uh, work in journalism and the things I've read, uh, the people that I've interviewed over the years, the single biggest thing that we can do to slow the signs of aging is to eat a healthy diet. There's something really, really important that we can do uh, to give ourselves, um, you know, the best chance at longevity, but also good life quality um, and looking and feeling as good as we can outside and in. Recently, uh, I interviewed a world leading um, gut health specialist and her name is Dr. Megan Rossi and she is a registered dietitian and nutritionist. She wrote a brilliant book called Eat Yourself Healthy. It's a bestseller. I've linked to it in the section below so you can take a look for yourself if you're interested in gut health. But she believes, uh, she's a really big advocate of, um, you know, we are what we eat. And she believes that by adding just eight grams more of plant fiber to our diets every day, um, we can dramatically reduce um, our risk of some of the age-related diseases like um, type 2 diabetes and heart disease, but also uh, boost our mental health too. So I interviewed Dr. Rossi as part of my work for the two news titles that I work for here in Scotland. They are uh, The Courier and The Press and Journal. And um, you can watch my full interview with her using the link in the section below. Um, I've got a, a clip for you now. She is absolutely fascinating and she's, um, you know, up to date on all the latest research and there's so much unfolding around gut health. But have a, a listen to what she has to say now, specifically around the benefits from eating more plant-based fibre. So fibre is essentially my favourite nutrient. Um, and I think, again, that a lot of people know that as a nation, we're not getting enough fibre, but they don't really understand why fibre is important. So what we've discovered is that fibre, which essentially is a backbone of all our plant-based foods. So there are six different plant-based food groups. You've got your whole grains, your nuts, your seeds, your beans and pulses, your fruit and your veg. So six different types. And actually, each different group contains different types of fibers. Now, the thing about fiber is that human cells don't contain the enzymes needed to digest it. So fiber actually has no benefit on human cells. What fiber benefits is actually our gut bacteria. So fiber essentially is food for our gut bacteria. It's like fertilizer for them. And that's why fiber is just so important to include in our diet from all six different plant-based food groups because essentially it nourishes our gut bacteria. And there's some amazing stats that have shown that, um, you know, as a nation, for every, six, every eight grams increase in fiber per day, we lower our risk of type 2 diabetes by, I think, 15%, our risk of heart disease by 19%, and our risk of colon cancer um, by 8%. Wow. And that's just for eight grams of fiber. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, what is eight grams of fiber? And it's like a can of uh, beans, a can of legumes, um, contains about eight grams, uh, a piece of fruit and some nut butter together that contains about eight grams, um, some crackers and hummus, whole grain crackers, of course, and some veggie sticks, eight grams of fiber. So it's actually attainable, um, but it's just something that we need to get to the habit of doing every day. So Dr. Rossi recommends that we eat 30 different types of plant-based foods every week. Now that sounds like a huge amount. When she first said it, I thought, whoa, how, you know, that's really hard to achieve. But actually, once it creeps into your consciousness, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest and say I haven't counted them um, in the last few weeks since I interviewed her because I've definitely, since talking to her, upped the amount of um, plant-based foods that I eat. Um, but once it creeps into your consciousness, you just notice it, it sort of changes um, 
Every time I make a meal now, I will always have salad with it. Um, I just look through my fridge. It really helps you cut back on food waste because I will try and use whatever I've got um, in that salad or chuck it in as an extra to a tomato-based sauce. You know, if I've got some courgettes um, lying around or onion or whatever it is, I'm just very, very consciously trying to add more in. Um, so she talks about um, those 30 foods being sourced across six different categories. So they are whole grains, um, nuts, seeds, fruit and vegetable, and um, beans and pulses as well. So when you think about that, you know, if you're eating brown bread or oats or whatever, um, that also comes into your 30. So when you start totting up and looking at what you're eating, if you're eating quite a healthy diet at the moment, you know, you might not be that far off and it's just about trying to up it and get that little bit extra in um, to help our bodies function as efficiently as possible, feed those gut bacteria, give ourselves the nutrients that we need to thrive and give ourselves the best chance, there's no guarantees in life, but give ourselves the best shot at um, longevity and good quality of life for as long as we can. So a few tips from me, just based on what I've been doing over the last few weeks and really feeling the benefit for it. I mentioned that I make salads much more often and um, with a lot of us working from home at the moment as the pandemic continues, I often don't get a lot of time to make myself a, a sort of healthy lunch. So what I will try and do is every night um, when I'm making the dinner, I'll do a salad to go alongside it. One of my big favourites to put in a salad is actually chopped kale. And what I've been doing is I've been buying the whole leaves uh, because, you know, you get that really tough um, stock that goes through kale when you especially when you buy it chopped it's really difficult to remove it but when you buy the whole leaf you can just and you'll see it here just pull that stock out and then um, chop the uh, the rest of the leaf and use that within a salad you know kale is really high in fiber and it's got uh, so many good things going for it with um, iron and vitamin k and full of antioxidants and so on so that's a great one and i pretty much eat that every day chopped in a salad and then to that I will just add whatever I've got in my fridge whether it's carrots or celery or whatever and then just as another way of getting um, a, another plant-based food in there as a dressing quite often I'll pick up um, little bags of passion fruit from the supermarkets which aren't very expensive at the moment and um, I'll use the passion fruit, uh, mix that with um, some honey and some um, virgin olive oil and I uh, use that as a dressing. I'm trying to check as many boxes as I can and then for breakfast I've changed what I've had for breakfast so I have oats from porridge oats but I, I don't actually uh, cook them in any way I just have them as they come and to that I'll add some live yogurt uh, which carries some probiotics in it and I'll have berries and I'll add chia seeds I'll add walnuts or whatever nuts I've got in the house um banana sometimes mix it all together it's just absolutely delicious and it's really filling as well I mean, it may not be that low in calories but if I have that mid-morning that probably does me till you know about two o'clock in the afternoon and then I'll have a salad so just doing these small changes has been really helpful for me. Um, I'm 47 now. I really have to think about uh, what I eat and drink. Um, and when it comes to drinks, I'm mainly having water. But just making these small changes, and it's not that big a deal. It sounds it to start off with, sounds quite daunting, but you're just basically trying to chuck a few more fruits and vegetables. And, you know, I often have lentils now um, instead of rice, for instance, during the week. Um, you know, I make myself sound like an angel here, but I, I'm still like a chocolate addict. You know, I, I have chocolate every day. But through what I'm doing, I'm kind of offsetting some of that. And uh, speaking to Dr. Rossi about sugar, you know, she says that is digested higher up in the gut, basically. So sugar just doesn't do you a whole lot of good. But as long as you're not completely overindulging it, if you have a bit here or there um, and you're eating 
a, a kind of high fiber diet, you know, my, my impression from her wasn't, was that that wasn't the end of the world. Um, so it, like everything in life, is about balance. Uh, so I hope you found some of those tips useful. As I say, it's one of the very best things that we can do um, for ourselves if we want to um, give ourselves the best shot in life. So I hope you'll give it a go. Do let me know if you do um, and if you if you find you've got benefit from it, I'd love to hear your experience. Just a reminder that if you do want to hear more of what Dr. Rossi has to say about gut health, uh, you can read my full interview with her and watch the video in full as well using the link in the section below. So do check that out. There are plenty of other videos on the Honest channel for you to watch and enjoy, covering everything from beauty and household product reviews to um, anti-aging treatments and therapies as well. So do check them out if you have time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.